Oh, in this short video series, I want to show you how we can use Salome to set up meshes, uh, geometries and meshes for fluid structure interaction simulations with open foam, precise and calculix. The tool we're going to use for that is Salome. You can find that on the salomeplatform.org and our Azure uh, desktops have Salome installed as well. So you can download Salome from here. Um, Windows installers are available. I have not tested Salome on Windows though. Um, when I start Salome, it will open up and wait and salome has geometry mesh and a lot of modules and i encourage you to read the documentation on the salome website we're going to start with the geometry generation and I want to create a very simple geometry today, basically a straight tube, which is um, using the, a similar setup as the um, FSI benchmark lead 2012. So we will start with primitives so we can set up a cylinder first. We want a cylinder that is uh, has a diameter of two centimeters, um, a radius of one centimeter, diameter of two centimeters, or double, let's, let me double check that. The diameter is two centimeters, so we need a radius of one centimeter, and we need height of one, of 10 centimeter. We can then apply that and close that window so we now have this cylinder defined here um, and that is our geometry that we're going to use for the fluid part of the problem we can we will we'll need a geometry for the solid part of the problem and in the beginning, we're going to use shell elements on the FEA. So we only need a surface for that. And I think that is basic new entity and surface from face. And I need to give that a name. Oops. Move that away. Um, the name is... Uh, Solid shell, for example, and the face I want to give that is work. Ah, wait a second. I need to create a group first, and that group is um, takes the three surfaces that I have on this cylinder and gives it names. So right click, create group. We will need to do that for later. So one is the wall. And for FSI problems, I usually call that the interface. We can select points, lines, or faces. So I want a face and I select this one and add it and then click apply. I then want another um, that will be the outlet, which is this surface. And I add that. Apply and close. And you see that interface outlet have been defined here. So interface outlet. And switch the pipe back on. And I see that. And for the bottom, I need this surface. So go there again. Create group. Inlet. and select this surface and 
fine close so now i have my three surfaces so now i should be able to create another geometry from that surface base yeah now that works and i can apply that so now rename that um that's my solid shell so now i have both geometries for my cases i will need later on also my inlets and my outlets in groups so i need to create groups on this as well and since this is a surface the groups i need to create are lines so my inlet will be this line oh, i need to hide all this first because it's difficult to select these so you need to hide all the other geometry and leave only the geometry that you're working with otherwise it's difficult to select the right entity here so for the inlet i want to select this curve and i for the outlet i want to select this curve and add that Apply. and i also want to create a group based on the face and i call that interface so the solver later on knows which part is which so this is basically i need to need to name all the surfaces so i can later on assign the proper boundary conditions so i need an interface i need an inlet outlet for the fluid fluid side and i need inlet outlet and interface for the solid side and on the solid side since we have shells inlet and outlets are lines so I now save that um somewhere um and we will continue with the mesh generation 